Hi everyone, today the ice box. This is a style of equilibrium law question that describes an initial setup for a reaction that then undergoes some type of change before eventually arriving at equilibrium. That's why it has the name ice box. I for initial, C for change, and E for equilibrium. This, the change that we're going to be describing can be positive or negative. One side of the reaction, typically the products, are going to be undergoing positive change. And the other side, typically the reactants, it's going to be undergoing negative change. We're going to fill out the ice box by moving across from column to column on the change line. We're going to be using mole ratios to do that. In the end, what we want to have is all of the equilibrium concentrations because it is the equilibrium concentrations that we're going to substitute into the equilibrium law. Just a reminder, we're not going to include liquid water in our equilibrium law expressions. Uh, sometimes liquid water is going to show up as part of the chemical reaction, so we don't need to fill in that part of the ice box. Here I have a generic example. I'm not going to solve it, but I'm just going to describe the typical, stereotypical standard setup. Where these red circles are, those would be the numbers that are included in the question. We would have enough information for the initial concentration of A, the initial concentration of B, and the equilibrium concentration for here my product D. The initial description of the question would not mention C and D. So the typical example has zero for those values. This means that if we interpret the question properly, the whole I line of the ice box, we can fill in just based on the question. Notice how here, if the product started at zero and their concentration is going to change, the only option is for that to be a positive change. The concentrations are going to increase from zero up to some other value. That means that the other side, here the reactants, are going to be decreasing in concentration or experiencing negative change. What we're going to end up doing then is having this zero add that value to it to arrive at the equilibrium concentration. This number that we will get from the question, we're going to subtract the change from it to arrive at the equilibrium concentration. We're going to move from column to column across the ice box on the change line. And here, the change is going to be proportional to the mole ratios. This means that B to A is in a 1 to 2 ratio. The change experienced by B is going to be half as much the change experienced by A. A and C, on the other hand, are going to be experiencing the same change. They're in a 2 to 2 ratio, 1 to 1. And again, D is going to be experiencing half the change of C. It's in a 1 to 2 ratio with C. Once we have the equilibrium concentrations, we can solve for the equilibrium constant. That's the normal kind of question using the equilibrium law. So, to summarize, the ice box is a kind of question where we set it up like this, some change happened, and then at some point later on in time, we arrived at equilibrium. Initial change equilibrium. It's important to note that one side's going to experience negative change, the other side positive change. We're going to fill in the change line first. We're going to use mole ratios to do that. Ultimately, we're going to have the equilibrium concentrations, which we will then substitute into our equilibrium law expression. And I hope that helps.